Hey guys, here's something, a little bit of a tidbit of knowledge that I've found in the field when uh, I, I do trainings out on the jobs. Um, just something that I feel that a lot of the, the trades and contractors don't know is that each valve manufacturer has a different way or different uh, method of soldering lead-free bronze valves. So that includes Milwaukee, uh, Hammond, Apollo, and Nibco, of course. Um, but a lot of guys don't know that each manufacturer has a different way of uh, recommendation of soldering their lead-free valves. So I'm going to quickly go over the three uh, or four uh, quickly and without soldering, but I'll have my torch and show you uh, the method that they recommend. So to start, it'll be Milwaukee Hammond valve. Okay, they don't recommend uh, or they don't recommend any anything to wrap around the valve or any special flux, but they do recommend that you stay away from the front of the cup and um, just torch Put your torch on the center of the cup and keep your torch at a 45 degree angle away from the ball and uh, O-rings. So this is, this is what they recommend, is to heat up the middle of the cup and at a 45 degree angle away from the back of the cup in that manner. Just like that, heat it up. Okay, so now we move to, uh, that was Milwaukee Hammond. Now we move to uh, Apollo, and you guys know for sure the recommendations of Apollo. Um, but just to, to rehash, they recommend having a wet towel or rag, whatever, around the center of the valve and their a different uh, method is, is to heat up the copper in front of the cup first to heat up the copper and then move into the valve and then you would put the solder on at that point. But they recommend heating the copper first and of course making sure that this end is uh, cool and then move to the other side. Now we move to Nibco of course and we've all had training on the Nibco and so the Nibco I'm going to use this side of the valve first um, so that it's easier to explain. But with Nibco, we recommend the OD H20955 flux. However, I've tried different in the field, different fluxes, and I've been able to uh, solder just fine. So Nibco, our recommendation, close the valve and then start with the back of the cup or these lugs that we have on ours here and then move to the front of the cup once this is heated and evenly heat that at the, at the lugs and then move to the front of the cup and by that time your solder should be ready to flow. All right, so that's that's just the quick solder training for all valves, and that way when you're on the job, you can explain, hey, it's not just Nibco that has recommendations, it's everybody, and these are our recommendations for Nibco. So anyway, 